Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. So today we're going to be looking at how to use ChatGPT to find domain names. So I'm going to be starting a brand new website. And the reason I'm starting this new website is because I want to test a lot of this AI content that ChatGPT creates to actually find out if it's ranking or not. So if this is something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe and click that bell. And uh, when I upload these new videos, you will be the first to know about them. So yes, ChatGPT can help us find domain names. That's what we're gonna be doing in this video, getting things set up and ready for our new website. Now this website, the goal of it is to be a natural remedy website where I'm writing content, informational content, about products on natural remedy that I can promote as an affiliate. Now, if you watched my previous video, you'll notice that I used an affiliate network called ShareASell to promote products from this natural remedy store. ShareASell is not the only network that you can use here. You can use any affiliate network that you're part of if you have products you wanna promote and create a website around it. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing throughout the next few videos. So here we are on Namecheap. This is where I usually buy my domains. So what I want to do is come over to ChatGPT and we're going to let it uh, help us to find a domain name. Now, I've been using this a lot today and if I'm timed out and not able to use it, we're going to have to jump over and use the ChatGPT Playground. If you're not familiar with that, that's in another video that I did here a few days ago. Uh, but we're going to go in here and we're just going to tell it. We're going to say, give me a list of 25 domain names for a natural health remedy website only include .com endings because I don't want any .net, .info or any of that other crazy stuff. So let's go ahead and click start and let's see what ideas we have here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to uh, copy it, go over to Namecheap and find out which ones are actually available that we can purchase. And I'm surprised, but it is letting me uh, go ahead and create this content. I figured it would have timed out, but I'm going to go ahead and pause this until this is done here. All right. So here we go. It just finished up. And if I wanted to, I could have told it to create a list of 50 or 100. You can just keep going on and on with this. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this list. And I'm going to go over to Namecheap. And if you guys want the links to all these tools I'm using, as always, they're going to be below this video. And what I want to do is come up here to where it says domains. And we're going to come down to where it says bulk domain search and click on that. And let's just close this. And right here in this box, we're going to go ahead and paste all these domains. And then get rid of all these blue boxes here. And I don't want to show premiums. And we're just going to click on generate. And what it's going to do is it's going to check all these domain names for availability to see if we can go ahead and buy them. And you can see here that a lot of them are available. Every time I do searches for these domains, most of them are available. And that's really cool. So here we have a lot of different ideas we can use for buying a domain name. I've really liked this one, naturalwellnessshop.com. Green. I don't want anything with the name medicine in it or cure in it or anything like that. Uh, Herbal Remedy Mart, natural, I don't want that one. There's holisticremedyco.com, I like that one. Green Hill, I don't want healing. Uh, let's see, organicremedyco.com. Okay, so I really like this one. This is what I'm gonna use for my domain name. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my cart and purchase it. Now you can see here uh, it's set to auto renew because I don't want it to expire. It automatically has domain privacy, which is great. And I don't want to confirm this order just yet because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be using, I'm not going to be using Namecheap for my website. I'm going to be using another web host that I use for the majority of my websites called Hostinger. And I'll put that link below the video if you want to check them out. And what I'm going to do is jump over to them. And on this account, you can see down here at the bottom that I have 33 domains registered on this one account. And what I'm going to do is add another one. And so I'm going to show you how to do this just in case you buy a domain from one place and you want to use it on a hosting account somewhere else. This is how you do it. So I'm going to go up here and click on hosting. And I'm going to go into one of my domains here. 
And on the left hand side, I'm going to go down to accounts and details. And then right here are my name servers. So this is what you have to have if you want to use a domain from another place and use it on this hosting account. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And the only difference between this one and this one is the number one and the number two. So we're going to jump back over to Namecheap. I'm going to confirm my order. And then we're going to pay. And immediately after it's done, I'm going to come down here and click on manage. And then right here, you can see name servers. I'm going to click in this box and do custom DNS. And I'm going to paste the first one in here. And then in the second one, I'm going to paste again. I'm going to change the number one to number two and click the checkbox. And what this is saying is I want this domain to work on these name servers with this hosting account. And what I love about doing it this way is that with Namecheap, it's usually really fast, especially if you make this change right after you purchase a domain name. It usually only takes about 10 minutes and you can start using your website, sometimes not even that long. And so we're going to jump back over here to hosting or under hosting, and I'm going to click on add a website for this account. And I'm going to come down here and click create an empty website. And I don't have this domain yet on hosting or I have to add it. So I'm going to come over here and use an existing domain that I have at another provider. Click select. And then down here, you're going to paste in that domain name you just purchased and click on continue. And you can see here, it's already picked this up that it's from Namecheap. So that's great. We're going to go ahead and click on continue and finish setup. And what it's going to do now is it's going to get this set up for me and we're going to install WordPress on it so we can get ready to start building out our website. So we're going to go ahead and let this finish. Okay, it says it's 100%, but it's still preparing the dashboard. So let's jump back to Namecheap, and we're going to go ahead and see if this is ready yet. So we're going to click on go to organicremedyco.com, and you can see it redirects us to my hosting or account, which means it's ready and active for me to install WordPress on and to start my website. So we're going to jump back over to my hosting or account, and I'm going to click on this logo here, and you can see right here is organicremedyco.com. We're going to click on manage auto installer wordpress and then from here i'm going to fill out the website credentials with the title and my email and a username and password to log into the website with then we'll click on next and install and now we're just going to wait a couple minutes for it to install wordpress and it looks like it's already done that and it has already down here installed an SSL certificate on it as well, which is great. It does all that for us. And so if we want to check this out now, we can just click on this link at the top. And this is our default website that we can now start building out and editing. So this is how you use chat GPT to find domain names. And so in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how you can use chat GPT to build SEO optimized long content a blog post that I'm really hoping is going to rank in Google because if it does, uh, this is going to change so much stuff and I'm going to be able to really expand my affiliate business and hopefully you guys can follow along and do the same thing with your business. So if this is something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll update you guys whenever new videos come out. And if you have any specific questions about this process and what I do, and I will try to get to them and answer them as I can. But remember, I am just one person. I have a lot going on right now, too. So uh, I will do my best with that. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.